thing about this modality, the sound, sound modality is there's really no technique involved, no batteries required, um, and it really supports and, and it actually teaches us that the body already has a mechanism in place uh, to transcend into deeper and more relaxing states of consciousness. Now if handled properly uh, via the, the, the right tools, then we can actually almost treat it as a science, the, the physics of transcending, which if you compare two extremes, one being a very active state of thought, of desire, patterns, addictions, on the other side, uh, we have a dynamic state that probably has a lot less rhyme and rhythm to it and instead is unbounded and in the moment and not predictable. So on one extreme we're, we're becoming very predictable and, and, and wiring the brain in a certain kind of way every day and then yours fly by. So as a byproduct of that process there's little corners and pockets of stuckness or ways of being or limiting beliefs that naturally occur as you lay out the pipeline of how you're going to be your optimal self your comforts the ways you think and then we become fixed this is why when you see an infant or a child they don't have the wiring yet or patterns to even have addictions or uh, tendencies that don't fully support their optimal growth because it's really basic eat remove waste go to bed and do that all, whole thing again uh, until I start to laugh and smile and be more dynamic and, and evolve and so there's this progression and on one side it's a good thing for us because we're evolving and maturing and growing through life on another it's taking us farther away from the innocence and playfulness of not abiding by our patterns, addictions, behaviors. And then meditation, a tool, a vehicle, at any age, any place, any time, in an airplane, underground, in, on the moon, you can actually meditate, bypass all time as we know it, bypass the space, and uh, integrate and connect with the value from within that predates humans. It's a value that let's just say, isn't like an energy that could be brought outwardly. And so if you're in a cave with a bunch of cave people and something crazy happens and there's lightning going on and everyone's hectic and tense, you're gonna be a part of that collective. So our ability to contribute the, the right kind of energy outward societally is correlated to our own ability to go inward and foster and create the energy as an individual, which we then support outwardly through creating and facilitating spaces with others that are of a more meditative quality. You can feel it in a room of prayer. You can feel it at a funeral. You can feel it in sacred sites because it's an energy. And each and every person can tap in, and that's what we're gonna do today. So we're just gonna get right to it. These sounds are here to support you. All these sounds are in accordance with natural movement, natural harmonics, and it's a gateway to taking you to very deep states of consciousness. So just go ahead and close your eyes, everyone. I'm gonna get comfortable. Take a few breaths in. In 
enjoy.
Let's take a nice deep, full breath back into our bodies. We'll close this practice with a few sounds. You can slowly begin to open your eyes while you make these sounds. Or you can just keep them closed until after your choice. We'll start with the sound, ooh, breath in. Ooh. Sound all. Sound ah. so much. My name is Torcom. It's been my pleasure to be here with you this morning and really for the whole weekend. Um, some of you are hardcore. Well, let's, we'll call you the aliens of the group because we know there's a few aliens amongst us. Um, so if you've been here all weekend, we, it's probably you. I think, it's, I think you're one of them for sure. Um, but here is a person who's for sure an alien and very much a human and that's Neil. So if we can give it up for Neil, the organizer. because everyone is just so receptive here, you know. Um, I think that's the real takeaway, the why I, I, I'm here, why I, I'm involved and participate with these events is people are so receptive and open, uh, and that is, I think, where magic, miracles, and the things that we don't fully consciously understand, but that can take place if we just leave that space, and that occurs when you're receptive and open with other people. Uh, so I hope you all have had an amazing weekend. I also want to acknowledge the visual artist Michael Strauss for all his incredible fractal, mind-bending visuals all weekend. He's right there. Put your hand up, Michael, so everyone can see you. Come on, put your hand up. <laughs> and of course, we have Matthew in the back, who's from literally, he's fought alongside many countless um, uh, druids and elves. He is a warrior. But more than anything, this man is dedicated. I've never met a more dedicated sound guy. So thanks, thanks to Matthew. And it's a team of full love and integrity, and that is what you guys feel and girls uh, feel, and that is why we're at Portal to Ascension. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap my little spiel up here. I hope. How does everyone feel, by the way? I didn't check in. You guys feel good? Well, thank you. That was a live transmission. That was just for you, and that was for your ears only. It's now behind us and in the past. So take a breath in and let us be on our way. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday, everyone. And.